got a divine beast egg. What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? your practice in hatching and arranging divine beasts. Now, go to the arena and learn the basics of how to fight battles. The divine beast hatched today is in your beast notebook, so check it out. Now, give the newborn a good name and take good care of it.
help you on your trip, pick a divine theme. So, you want a special attack divine beast. The ones who like wind are mostly technicians. You fought hard. This ends your battle practice session. Try assembling different formations. Try raising them too. You might raise a powerful divine beast. It's all up to how you fight. Now, go to the Jade Throne Room for the final test. Good luck. Hey there, young man. You were just talking to Moo. Come over here. Now, aren't you cute? Say, young man, who's prettier, Moo or me? Uh, you, maybe? Really? You really think so? Beauty can be such a curse. Since you were honest, let me tell you something. Young man, you want to power up that beast amulet you're wearing? Wow, can you do that? How do you do it? What happens? Win and pass the test to power up your beast amulet. This beast amulet power-up lets you use more and more divine beasts in your beast amulet. It also gives you more and more shields to protect you. Wow! So I should keep taking the advancement test to get stronger, right? That's right. But not everyone can take the test any time. Beast hunters have something called their reputation. It's the mark of just how credible they are among the beast hunters. You must have a certain level of reputation in order to take the advancement tests. Whoa, you gotta take all these tests and stuff? Sounds like school. Don't sulk like that. It ruins your cute face. But the advancement test and reputation are important. So remember this. To get stronger, raise your reputation and take advancement tests. Got it? Levant, I passed my beast amulet training. Good job. Now is the final test. Try an actual fight. Use your training and experience to escape from the wormhole forest. The forest you are going to has divine beasts, so touching them will start a battle. An instructor disguised as a coma is waiting in some nest hole in the forest. Battle that instructor and get the key spore from that nest hole. Get through the exit princess fight and you pass the test. If I lose in battle in the forest, what happens? If that happens, I guess you're divine beast food. R really? <laughs> Just joking. The beast amulet will bring you back to the temple. That's how it works. Most gracious, eh? Oh, that's a relief. I don't want to get gobbled up by a divine beast. However, if you lose and come back to the temple, you forfeit all items. So then my eggs and everything will all be lost? So don't overdo it. Knowing when to quit is also important. You can use the beast amulet to get back to the temple whenever you want. Now, it's about time to start. Go into the forest.
when you use mana points and your beast's mana points goes down. That's a problem, particularly for Nas. You mostly use items to get mana points back. You can also recover mana points by spinning the formation and letting the beast rest in back. Hmm, huh. everyone else is having a hard time too. But thinking of battle methods and formations is fun too, right? Your mana points drop as you use it. So you have to think carefully and manage. <laughs> this, but I'm your teacher. Teacher? Oh, I get it. More training. So, do you know a lot about the forest? Of course. You know all about beast hunters? That is the object of the beast hunters. Oh yeah, I learned that. It's to purify Kalma. My, my. Very good, Sonny. You're studying hard. Um, teach. One question. Are the Kalma different from other divine beasts? Totally different, Sonny. Parasitic insects have altered their appearance. Altered? To what? To humans. Humans! Isn't that awful? What's worse is that they are recently mimicking the beast hunters. Mimicking? What's that? It means they look like beast hunters. So, how can you tell the difference? If you meet someone in the forest, First try talking to them. They may look like people, but the scum can't talk. You'll quickly find out. Now, enough study. Let's get on with the contest. Alright, let's go. Teach, you strong? That's right, Sonny. I am the teacher after all. Here goes, Teach. Not bad. You 
did well, Sonny. You were pretty strong yourself, Teach. <laughs> well, gosh. But, um, look. See that? Hey, that's a key spore. So, I passed the test here? Don't let your guard down till you're out of the princess vine, Sonny. Pay close attention to the condition of your divine beasts. <laughs> Got a bad feeling. Wonder if something's still here. Cool. But what is this? How pretty. Hey, this must be an egg of a rare divine beast. Conscious, huh? I guess it doesn't work so well on humans. What? Another me? Who are you? Me? I'm you. You're gonna turn into me. What? Hey, imposter! Try making sense. Shut up! All you gotta do is hand over your butt. Let's settle this. Collect the orbs, and then you. Hey, you there! Wake up already! Huh? Are you dead? Who? Uh, who? Is someone there? Yup, I'm Nico, a fairy who came from the dream world. To be exact, I got woken up. Anyway, you've got trouble. An ugly ogre is hiding in your heart. In my heart? An ogre? Where there's light, there's shadow. Don't touch a fairy cocoon. He who soils divine sleep, harboring calamitous darkness. Huh? Don't you learn that from your old man now? What? So am I cursed by you? Bingo! Um to be fooled by looks. Pretty roses have thorns. Pretty cocoons have curses. Remember that. You're from the dream world? Where is that world? Oh, between heaven and earth, or, well, um, it's, well, how can I describe it exactly? Deep space, or maybe another world, or strange space, fantasy? Ah, oh, I get it. This is all a dream. Maybe that light did it? Who's gonna believe that? Just look at your rear end. What is that thing anyway? You've got quite a thing there. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yikes! This is how Kahu and I met. He who soils divine sleep, 
harboring calamitous darkness. Poor Kahoo's heart was shared by another violent Kahoo. A heart divided into light and shadow cannot be one or the other. Only the strong survive, and this is the law of the wild. Humans, beasts of knowledge, imperfect creatures who know too much. This world you see is full of traps that test humans like Kahoo. Kahoo touched my cocoon, but this too was one of those traps. I was summoned from the dream world to take the role of leading these imperfect beasts and determining their fate. Not what you'd call a dream job, huh? Even chance meetings are the result of inescapable karma. Even so, that's a really ugly tale. Oh well, what you gonna do? There's another Kahu inside of you, Kahu. So Kalma has become a human parasite. Sir, what do we do? This guy is a horrible demon. That's me! I'm still in my right mind! But this is real trouble. If we just leave you like this, you'll become Kalma. No! You're joking, right? Can't you fix it? The way to do it is to pull Kama out of you and have a contest. Pull him out? That guy? How? He's inside me, right? Dark summoning. There's one way. If only we had the forest orbs. Orbs? What are those? Long ago, the Chosen One passed the forest ordeal and was given them. Fire. Wind. Water, Earth, together the four orbs will open the door of space-time. If I play the Dark Loot at that time, I may be able to call the Kalma out of Kahu. So, if I collect those orbs, we can defeat that guy? It's not so easy. Only the Chosen One can get them, right? It may be possible if one has the power to get deep into the four forests. At this rate, I'll no longer be me! Levant, I'll do it! Well then, I'll give you a license and open the Kumari Gate. I too shall practice on this dark loot from this day forward. After all, this is the only means of handling darkness. <sighs> Good timing anyway. I was getting bored in the other world. You're so lucky to have someone like me who knows so much about divine beings. Ugh, you're so full of yourself, as if you care. Anyway, let's do it. Um, Miss Fairy? Oh gosh, I'm your friend now. Call me Nico. What? Whatever. <laughs> Weird fairy. <laughs> <laughs>